Hey everyone, Dazzle Driller here coming to you live for the first time via voiceover. If you're new to my channel, I am also new to YouTube and I post diamond painting videos, DIYs, and other arts and crafts. So if that's your sort of thing, please subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. In this video, I'm sharing a diamond painting 101 crash course for total beginners. This is literally for anyone who's never picked up a diamond painting drill pen before. They don't even know what diamond painting is. Maybe you saw an ad on social media and you thought, what are all those little beads for? This looks like it takes forever. How do I get in on this? If you're interested, just keep on watching. Okay, so let's start from the very beginning. What is diamond painting? So diamond painting is a new emerging craft where you take small, tiny little beads that are very sparkly and have facets carved into them and you put them together to make a really cool image. This concept is really similar to paint by numbers where you have a canvas and a color code system with paints in order to create an image. It's also similar to cross stitching where you have a list of color coded embroidery thread that you use to follow a pattern to create an image. And if you need one more example, it's also really similar to perler art, where you have those tiny little beads and you put them onto the pegboards to create a kind of pixel art. So let's take a look at what a diamond painting kit is all about. Diamond painting kits come in all shapes and sizes. You might receive one in a tube like this, or in this garbage looking bag, or in a box. Regardless of how they look, they all pretty much have the same components. Let's open up this one from Heartfelt Diamonds to take a look at what it's got. I'm rolling this one out and realizing, wow, this is way too big for beginners. Let's maybe start with something smaller. That's more like it. This is a brand from Leisure Arts of Diamond Art, and I actually got it on clearance from Michaels for about eight bucks. So inside, you'll have your canvas and a bag of tools and diamond drills. So I'm unrolling this canvas of diamond art and you'll see that obviously it doesn't want to stay down. Not a big deal, a lot of canvases do this, so you just have to flip it over and roll it the opposite way to get it to lie flat. That's better. Now we'll take a look at the instructions. Actually, toss the instructions. You got this video. This particular canvas is considered a partial canvas because only a portion of the canvas is sticky for the diamonds to stick on. There are full diamond paintings. For beginners, I recommend starting with a partial so you can get the hang of it. The next thing in your diamond painting kit is going to be the drills. Some companies call these different things. You might see beads or diamonds or gems or even dots, but in general, they're mostly referred to as drills. The next thing in your diamond painting kit is a tool kit. First, drop your diamond drill pen. Perfect. This is what you'll use to apply the diamonds to your canvas. Kits usually include a pen cushion, you'll also have your pink wax, and some baggies to organize your diamond drills. Now comes my least favorite part of this craft, which is known as kitting up. It basically means organizing your diamond drills and doing inventory to check that you have everything in the kit you need. It's always a good rule of thumb to check your kit to make sure you have all the colors that you need. If you find out you've been shorted, then all you have to do is contact the company. On your canvas, you'll typically see a color code system that matches up with each of the packages of diamonds you have. Some diamond painting companies have their own color coding system. But for the most part, diamond paintings usually share the same color system as DMC embroidery floss. 
you can easily Google this and find the entire DMC chart for reference. Using the chart on the canvas, I'm labeling each of the baggies with the corresponding color number. Sometimes these baggies will develop static inside and those diamond drills will go everywhere. An easy way to combat this is by grabbing a dryer sheet and cutting off a small piece to leave inside the bag to help eliminate static. All right, we're done with color number one. Only four more to go. I've poured my first color into the diamond drill tray, then I shake it up real good to make sure all of the diamond drills get into those grooves. Then I tip it at about a 40 degree angle to make sure all the diamond drills line up straight. Now it's time to get the wax ready, and this is probably one of the most overlooked things in a diamond painting kit. You've gotta take the plastic off in order to puncture it. Oh. Now your wax is ready to use with your pen. So just push the pen firmly into the wax until you hit the bottom of your pot, then pull it out and your pen is ready to use. You only need a really light pressure to pick up the drills. All right, now it's time to start placing our drills. I'm pulling back the protective covering Again, you only need light pressure to apply the drills to the sticky portion of the canvas. Some studies have shown that mindful activities like coloring or drawing can help with dexterity and concentration. And I think diamond painting is really similar in that regard. Plus, it's really addictive and you won't wanna stop. So once you've got the basics down of diamond painting, you're gonna to wanna to figure out what you wanna do with your finished piece. So here are a few that I have framed either using existing matting that I had lying around or by making my own DIY matting with foam board or poster board. I have also mounted my diamond paintings to poster board so that they're freestanding and can prop up anywhere. I've even made a diamond painting pillow out of a finished piece. There are lots of different ways to display diamond art. It's really up to you and your personal preference. All right, so we've got the basics down. You know how to diamond paint. You know what it's all about, but where do you find one? There are a few US-based diamond painting brands that you can find either online or in your store at Hobby Lobby or Joann's. A few of them are Diamond Art Club, Diamond Dots, Leisure Arts, and even Amazon. Okay, don't look at that. Don't look at what's in my cart. I'm just window shopping. I might not buy it. I don't know. Another option is AliExpress. Now AliExpress is really like the Wild West. <laughs> Ordering from there can be a little bit confusing. And to be quite honest, these are Chinese suppliers who don't necessarily have copyrights in mind. So more often than not, even though the diamond paintings are really affordable and really beautiful, 10 times out of 10, they don't have copyright permission to reproduce the work and sell it. I left some links in the description box below if you want to check out some of these sites. There you have it. Everything you need to know to get started with diamond painting. As you fall in love with the craft, there are lots more tips and tricks and accessories to help you get started. But really, there's no right or wrong way to do this craft. You should do what feels right for you and enjoy the process. I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give this a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you see other videos and DIYs in the future. Thanks for watching.